Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup, chers amis. Thank un grand you, dear friends. It's a, great, it's a real uh, pleasure to be with you once again position. in a new position now. Mesdames et messieurs, ladies and ladies gentlemen, and gentlemen chers amis, dear friends, conservatives. Merci pour cette thank you for this chaleur. warm welcome. It's so great to be back in front of such a dynamic team, such a great group of hardworking men and women who represent Canadians every day. To Canadians across the country, I want to tell you, there is renewed hope for Canada. There's hope because we know that the pain that the Trudeau Liberals are causing Canadians is only temporary. The wrong things that uh, Justin Trudeau is causing is, is temporary. Positive and focused on delivering for everyday Canadians and their families in 2019. Nous venons tout juste terminé we just have concluded a um, leadership race that has grown our party movement. and our movement. And we did this at the same time that many of us were competing against one another. Now imagine what we can do when we're working together. <laughs> I have to say, standing up here in front of the hardest working people in Parliament, I'm liking our chances for success. <laughs> I want to start by thanking Rana for the amazing... I want to thank Rana for the amazing job she did as an interim leader. You know, many interim leaders might have been contempt to, to merely just try to keep the party together and on its feet after 2015. But Rana's stewardship of our party has been incredible these past 18 months. Our membership has increased. Our funding is in good health. Our caucus is united. And we will force and you There's have no forced Justin Trudeau right to right give accounts every day to what he was doing. I have big shoes to fill. <laughs> Physically, maybe not big. <laughs> very stylish shoes to fill. <laughs> I'm going to have to up my game, I think. <laughs> now, I want to say something to my, this incredible caucus. While this race was underway, our caucus remained unified, focused on holding the Liberals to account. We didn't miss a beat. We have a great team of critics who did extraordinary work over the past 18 months. Thank you so much. La course est terminée et maintenant une the race is over and now a new race is about to begin. And in the challenges to come, I will need you, our party will need you. Staying united is the only way we will defeat Justin Trudeau in 2019. The Conservative Party has always been a grassroots party. We're a party of strength through hard work and shared principles. I know that will continue. 
To all the candidates who put their name on the ballot, let me say how proud I was to share the stage with you over the past few months. Ours was a campaign of ideas, and each and every one of you fought so passionately for your vision of this party and for this country. And in particular, to my friend and colleague, Maxime Bernier. Your bold campaign reignited the passions of conservatives everywhere I traveled. I thank you, we all thank you, for what you have contributed, and I'm excited to work with you together on building that, on that success. Plus que jamais, nos membres sont excités More than ever, our members are excited and energized. The ideas we debated demonstra demonstrated the kind of smart, principled leadership that Canadians expect from their elected officials. I hope that you all continue to share that passion with our caucus and our conservative movement across the country. Now, colleagues, I stand before you ready to serve. Je suis très honoré par la confiance que I am very honored by the trust moi. that the members have put in Becoming me. Becoming the leader of the Conservative Party of Canada is a great honor, but an even greater responsibility. To all Canadians from coast to coast, Le prochain gouvernement conservateur the next conservative government will always trouver. work to de find new ways to make life more taxes, affordable by cutting taxes and by making life public easier public for the private sector to create emplois. new jobs. The next conservative government will end liberal policies that make it harder to start new businesses, that make life more expensive for families, and that punish hard work and success. And we will do this because Canada's Conservatives are the party of prosperity, not the party of envy. And we are the party of taxpayers, not connected Ottawa insiders. Because conservatives in Canada are the party of prosperity, the party of taxpayers. We are the party that believes that there is more to society than just government. Especially a liberal government that has already shown just how out of touch it is with Canadians. This is a government that preaches transparency and accountability, while it shuts down debates and strips the rights of workers to a secret ballot. This is a government that promises accountability and transparency, while the Prime Minister dodges questions about his own ethical issues. And this is a government that claims to help the middle class while raising taxes on everything from textbooks to bus fare. Yeah. This is a government that says it will support young people while it hikes payroll taxes, making it harder for job creators to hire new workers. The first people who suffer when payroll taxes go up are young Canadians and new entrants into the workforce. That's who we're fighting for. In short, this is the great lie of the left, that they hurt the people they claim to help. But there is a better option. I'll tell you. <laughs> a government that rewards hard work and success. Our caucus will focus on results with conservative policies that create prosperity, that provides opportunities for every Canadian. Ce sont les politiques conservatrices qui créent de la prospérité et offrent des opportunités à tous les Canadiens. 
prosperity and offer opportunity to all Canadians. When it comes to taxpayers' money. That is why Conservatives will return Canada back to balanced budgets. We know that the Liberal carbon tax is just a cash grab. We will repeal it and we will defend the rights of pr provinces to not impose a carbon tax on their people. And Conservatives realize that radical Islamic terrorism is a threat to all Canadians. Which is why we will recommit our Air Force to the fight against ISIS. I believe that radical Islamic terrorism is a threat for all Canadians. This is why we will make it so that our fighter planes will fight the Islamic State once again. We believe that debate and free speech is a fundamental principle of our Canadian democracy. Now, the Trudeau Liberals have already shown that they don't really care much for free speech, especially right here in the House of Commons. <laughs> They've tried not once, but twice, to take away the rights of members of Parliament to speak to bills in the House of Commons, to hold the government to account. And Conservatives have fought them every step of the way. And if you thought their attacks on free speech in the House were ridiculous, have you heard what they've been saying about some of the progressive policies that I've put forward? They've attacked my very progressive idea to protect free speech on college and university campuses. Now, now, my progressive policy that I put forward protects the rights of all students to free speech. Students should never feel afraid to debate and explore new ideas. They should never face a threat of being shouted down or prevented from exercising their rights. They shouldn't be afraid of being silenced by university administrators or radical groups. In short, they should not have to face any kind of macroaggression against their rights. To my colleagues in this room and conservatives across the country, this party belongs to you. À mes collègues dans la salle et aux conservateurs à travers le pays, and conservative colleagues across the country, this party is yours. I shared a yours. wonderful quote the other day from John Diefenbaker that really stuck with me. <laughs> Dief the chief is an icon in Canadian history and a hero of mine. And, you know, it's not just because we both have Ontario roots and fell in love with the people of Saskatchewan <laughs> and proudly represent them in the House of Commons. I think it was Deef's love of everyday Canadians that captures what we are all sent here to do. And reflecting on his time in office at the 1967 Conservative Convention, Deefen Baker told party members that he had been criticized for being too concerned with hardworking Canadians. But he was unapologetic. I can't help that, he said. I'm one of them. And that's as true of our party today as it was 50 years ago. Nous ne sommes pas la partie des privilégiés et des élites. We're not the party of privilege and the elites. We're the party of the everyday elites. Canadians who work hard, who make sacrifices to secure a better future for their kids. That's who we are. That's who we fight for. We're never going to change. The Liberals can take their cues from the cocktail circuit. We will take ours from the minivans, from the soccer fields, the Legion halls, and the grocery stores.
Now, 2019 is not too, too far away. So we have a lot of work to do. I'm excited to get started with you. Let's get started. Oniva, thank you very much. Yeah.